Hi guys, I'm very excited for today's video. I'm doing a little Winx character guessing for you. So I'm going to do like my favorite scene that each of the main girls have done and then you can guess which scene was which. I tried to help you out a little bit with a clue and hopefully you can figure that out. I think it's going to be super obvious but we'll see. Oh, I also just wanted to do a little commentary on like why it was my favorite scene and just... You want to go see the headmistress at midnight wasted? Then do it. And while you're at it, you might as well go to the stone circle and nuke your magic. Maybe we'll get a signal from your long lost fairy guide because that makes sense. I'm done pulling you from the edge, Bloom. If you want to jump, jump. This Aisha scene I chose, like, she is a powerhouse. Bloom throughout the series, there were times where I felt like she was kind of selfish as a character. And when Aisha puts her in her place, and she does it in like a respectful way because they're still friends like she's not such like a major bee about it you're not gonna drag me down with you to our principal's office while you're drunk to go confront her number one which bloom bloom <laughs> come on where is bloom support for aisha so i was just really happy that aisha spoke what i was thinking as an audience member i love Yeah, I have. I'm a good person, Dane. And I think you are too. But I just don't care to find out anymore. Just a word of advice. Be careful who you trust. Then we have this Tara scene. I liked her. I thought she was very like friendly and was really trying for other people. But I also thought she got offended easily, and also I think that was supposed to be her insecurity, which I understand. But in this situation, being offended was justifiable. So rude, that video. I was so mad. I was appalled. And for her to even speak politely to him, I was like, power to her. Because if that was me, I'd be like, get off my door, Seth. Do not come near me. You really have the nerve. She's not knocking him down, I think, because she knows that he's in a vulnerable position. He was probably saying a lot of those things to like be cool. It was still wrong. So I'm glad that she recognized, you know, that one situation doesn't encompass the whole person, but hey, like I don't have to put up with that, right? Very powerful. Do you know what that means for me, Aisha? Being realistic? It means that my mom didn't want me. It means that she looked at me when I was a baby and gave me up. You don't think that I've thought about this every single day since I found out I was a changeling. I have to believe that there's something else. And we have our bloom scene. And I feel like I need this scene because it was the real moment where I did feel bad for Bloom as a character. You know, like I said, Bloom did get on my nerves a little bit. And I actually thought Abigail Cohen's acting was really good. I thought that this was like the one moment where you're like, oh my gosh, that would be really terrible. Kind of, this is summing up the reason why she's doing all this stuff. She feels like major abandonment in this scene. And I just felt like it really humanized her as a character. So I was really glad for that conclusion. Ricky was my best friend. I didn't mean to hurt her. I just, I lost control and it was better for my mom if I had done it on purpose. So everyone thought I was a raging bitch and a monster. At least I wasn't weak. Okay, so now we have Stella. She was fine. She was fine. She was a little bit mean, but I also think it was like more of like the trying to be funny mean in a way and then just like sometimes mean. I don't know. Her character confuses me. I feel like she's complex. And then with the mom issues, you understand her more. I kind of had a feeling about the friend, like once they're having the conversation at the party that it wasn't really her fault. But I think she was being vulnerable to Musa. We get you, Stella. We're understanding here. Stella has an opinion on that. 
I refuse to keep cleaning them up. So just tell them. Okay, now Musa. I liked her as a character. She was one of my favorite. I feel like with Musa, we didn't really get to know a lot about her. I know I did a short thing, but this was to me the funniest thing, the funniest line. Like, I don't know why I found it so funny. I, I was laughing really hard. But I also feel like she was the one that kind of added a lot of lightheartedness to the show. I just really liked that one line. As it's becoming progressively darker outside, this video is also coming to a close. I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment below any other scenes or movies or whatever you want to see me do. I'm gonna remember to say it, like and subscribe. Round of applause for me. Thanks guys, have a great day.